Well, thanks, Zach. It's don't go to work unless it's fun day. And we're all here. So long. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nick Baker, a personal trainer from the Jefferson City YMCA, will join us soon to suggest ways of making the workplace more healthy and fun. When it comes to snacking, it can be a problem at work. Options are limited usually, but I did find a list of healthy snacks that are tasty, filling, and pretty easy to pack along with you from HealthyLivingOnline.com. We'll have to ask Nick later what he thinks of this list. It includes dry roasted edamame with cranberries. It's a nice break from the conventional trail mix. It gives you a protein boost. Keep um, you can keep it for weeks in your desk too, it doesn't really go bad. Nuts are the same way. Mixed nuts, almonds preferably. Apples with peanut or almond butter. Raw veggies with hummus or kale dip. Any of you bring these so far? <laughs> no. I have, uh, I have peanuts in my desk. I have some almonds at mine. Dried fruits. Yogurt. I do bring in yogurt from time to time and you can eat it plain or throw in some fresh berries, flaxseed, granola if you want to make a variety there to choose from and then granola bars also are on the list as a good pick-me-up they're usually um, packed with some fiber some energy grains and fruits they say to stay away from the coated delicious ones with chocolate and sugar <laughs> shocking darn it the good ones <laughs> anyway nick baker will be here in just a little bit and he's got more suggestions one of them yesterday was just to take turns making a healthy snack at work maybe between your coworkers. i'm thinking yeah because you're not going to find those in the machines no you're not we're going to talk about that mm -hmm. later in the show too i went and took a picture of our vending machine uh -huh. i'm going to let you guys guess <laughs> what snack would be the best to go with if you're going to get a snack today okay. that might be I, hard I, I noticed on the list there wasn't a big tupperware of pasta which a former employee here used to keep <laughs> in her desk just daily <laughs> thank you oh, for sharing no. that <laughs> I've kept That's ravioli, right. like the Chef Boyardee ravioli. I've brought that here before in the can. Oh, yeah. 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 Hers wasn't in a can. That's, yeah. That's a meal. <laughs> That's a meal, not a snack. <laughs> Well, it's don't go to work unless it's fun day. Earlier, we were talking about some snacks that are good to bring with mm. you to work. And Nick Baker's here now. He is a personal fitness trainer for the Jefferson City YMCA's. That's right. What did you think of those snacks that I listed off? Uh, the ones that you listed were great. Um, the ones on the vending machine, you are exactly right. They're highly processed, full of sugar, and they're going to actually bring you down rather than lift you up. So you want to find foods that are like your almonds and snacks and just go easy on the snacks. Don't really, you know, don't overindulge because it's gonna, again, increase your calories, so. But you mentioned snacking periodically. So mm -hmm. instead of overdoing it all in one setting, mm -hmm. what do you suggest? I suggest every hour, every two hours, you wanna go ahead and snack. That way you're constantly keeping your metabolism higher throughout the day, so you burn more calories. I can do that. Yeah. I can snack more frequently. But make sure that your lunch is smaller <laughs> too, though. So that's the purpose, because you want to have small, frequent meals. You don't want to have, you know, consistent overeating. You know, that's what we're trying to avoid. When you say the small meals, if there was a calorie count on mm -hmm. that, what is that calorie count? 200 calories. Or no less? More than, yeah, no more than 300. Okay. And then when it comes to being at work and you're stuck at your desk all day, what are some tips that will keep you, you know, as healthy as possible instead of just a lazy lump? What I like to do is take mini breaks. Um, when you find yourself at the desk for a long period of time, you want to take, for every hour, you want to take maybe a 10 minute break and just kind of give it moving around. Um, just focus on your posture and breathing. That's number one. Posture? Absolutely. What's that? Yeah. No. <laughs> Um, now that the weather's nicer, it's going to be a lot easier yes. probably for people to get out, maybe walk around the parking lot or something for oh, a little while. Absolutely. I mean, you always want to have your shoes with you. I mean, don't be walking around in heels out in the outside, but uh, make sure you have some comfortable shoes. they made for good calf muscles. Is that not true? Possibly. possibly. All right. All right. Well, we're starting something new. It's called Wellness Wednesdays and we're hoping to get special guests in here know what they're talking about when it comes to specific topics like Nick Baker a personal fitness trainer from the Jefferson City YMCA's who's talking to us today because it's don't go to work unless it's fun day and we're incorporating that with ways to stay healthy and fit while you are at your workplace we've talked about some good snacks okay that were in the snack list um, earlier in the show but mm -hmm. let's talk about things that you can dig up or bring with right. you because I know some of things like this mm -hmm. you would need to purchase before but you could keep this at your desk right those are very inexpensive you can get them just about anywhere and that's a great upper body workout so you can do a lot of arms shoulders anything that you can uh, yeah there you go yeah the <laughs> best way to do with these is just go ahead and stand on them or you can actually tie it to something stable 
uh, not necessarily that's going to flip up on you, but you can actually do like a bicep curl. So if you want to work your arms or anything like that. So this is nothing too intense. It's not going to no. make you sweat in your suit necessarily, no, but it's absolutely something not. good. Just to get some blood flow and because what you do is throughout the day you get fatigue. So we're trying to prevent that fatigue and that, that afternoon kind of slump. So it helps you be more productive at work. So your bosses will probably not disagree disagree on using that, right? Uh, yeah, probably <laughs> not. I don't know though. Probably not. But I know we've got things like your desk chair that you can Absolutely. utilize, which Absolutely. we didn't bring one out here, mm -hmm. but I've, I've definitely seen a lot of articles on that. Yeah, just doing push-ups on like a desk like this. I mean, because mm -hmm. you don't want to make it too strenuous, but you want to just kind of get some blood flow, get several repetitions So you can in. be standing up and just yeah, absolutely. push up right here. Just push -ups. And you dug out this ancient, very, he said this is the <laughs> biggest book that he's ever seen. It is an old dictionary. And uh, <laughs> just using something like this is just fun and creative. Got Obviously, it here carrying, it, yeah, carrying it around is not necessarily, a, you know, going to help burn extra calories. But using it as for front shoulders and stuff like that, so you can use this in a way that's going to create some, you know, some strength. So we're trying to focus on strength. Like you would a weight. Absolutely, yeah. Right. And if that's all you got, then that's all you got. I mean, you can bring home weights if you want to. Just make sure it's convenient for you. Gotcha. And then uh, I found these. This is uh, for my clients. I'm trying to figure out new creative ways. And these are actually moving sliders, furniture movers. And you can put these underneath your feet, and you can actually do some exercises, like a, a lunge or anything How like that. Yeah. So. You can't, I don't know if you can see, but as you move down, you slide out. I can see your feet, but it helps mm -hmm. you slide. Yeah, and it's just something, another way to change it up and create some And more. these are very inexpensive. I've seen around just, you know, for you, Absolutely. these are the super They're sliders. Just body weight, yeah, just your own body weight. So be creative. You can do all kinds of things while you're at the workplace. You mentioned taking a break, maybe mm -hmm. a walk or something Absolutely. every so often as well. And since the weather's getting nicer, as we heard from Zach, mm -hmm. that might be easier for everyone. Thank you so much, You're Nick. Welcome. Thank you. Staying healthy in the workplace. We should all try it. Back to you. It's Wellness Wednesday. We've been talking today about not coming to work unless it's fun because that's the day today. Actually, it really is on uh, those funky holidays, but you know what's fun is getting a snack halfway through the work day, which for us is about what, 7.30 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> so if we don't bring our own snacks, which has been suggested now by Nick Baker, who was recently with us, mm -hmm. he was the personal trainer, um, we're gonna have to go look at the vending machine. There it is. There's our work vending machine. And the choices inside there, we've eyes. got Kit Kats, Milky Ways, Skittles, Snickers, Reese's, some barbecue baked Lay's, some crumb cake, chocolate donuts and Cheez-Its. Okay, so there's our choices. Okay. And everybody's workplace probably has a different vending machine. And so the smartest thing to do is really to sit down, take time, figure out how many calories are in each thing. If you had to go make a choice right now, what would you guys get? What do you think? Out of those? Yes. I wouldn't buy any of them. That's not an option. What if you, oh. like, just played this what if you were so I hungry? You're just like, oh, I have to have I'd a snack. I'd say Cheez-Its. Yeah, probably. Cheez-Its. Smart people that I work with. <laughs> yes, you should probably go with the Cheez-Its. You're looking at over 200 calories for pretty much everything in there. We've got the kid and no nutritional value at all. Uh, the Snickers really tops out at the 296. Now the Reese's is only 110 calories. That's per piece. Yeah, so if you're careful. just wanting a quick chocolate treat, that's not a terrible choice. If you're going to eat the whole bag and you know it, the Cheez-Its for sure. Anyway, your vending machine at your work is going to be different than ours here at our work. So what I'm saying is count your calories. You know, the guys that run the vending machines, though, they, they want to sell products that people want. To, you know, they want popular things. So mm -hmm. if, if your workplace wants a certain thing, they'll probably get it for you. Maybe. You know, I, mm -hmm. I've seen some with animal crackers in it. Great snack. You know, yeah. if you just really want something to yeah, kill the... To munch on. Yeah. yeah. Not so bad. anyway, be smart with your choices so that you can stay fit while sitting at work all day.